All right, so Sean, what was your favorite movie to act in? Um, I'd have to say it's a toss-up between Akilah and the Bee and To Save a Life. Um, they're both amazing, amazing projects, but um, I just I just love the people that I worked with on, on Akilah and the Bee. It was amazing to work with Kiki Palmer and Lawrence Fishburne, obviously, Angela Bassett, um, some of the greats in Hollywood. So that was a lot of fun. And Doug Atchison's amazing director, and his script was pretty phenomenal. So that was an amazing project to work on, as well as um, To Save a Life. Um, just the whole story and premise behind it and the whole cast and, and crew was just an amazing experience to be a part of and really to see just the heart behind uh, the movement and the heart they have for um, these kids who are um, you know hurting you know we, we've all under, we've all been lonely or hurting at some point of our lives you know we, we um, we can really connect with the story of Jake and the Johnny my character so um, it was really fun for me to play that character so what are you working on right now? Um, right now, I'm working on a few different things. Um, one, I'm just helping out a lot with um, you know, you know, the Japan um, crisis, unfortunately. So I'm helping a lot with the different charities that are actually going to give back and um, just help bring aid and whatnot there. Um, on Sunday, I'm going to Tap of the Beat charity event, and uh, they're bringing um, clean water to people in need. So it's pretty amazing, pretty amazing event. Um, I'm also working on a few different um, little projects and whatnot. I, I don't know if you've seen uh, Black Box TV, but that was kind of like a thriller type of episode. And it was pretty fun to work with uh, all the guys from um, Black Box TV. So. Um, also, I have a couple different um, projects coming up. One is called One Warm Night, and it's an ensemble cast, huge cast, 15 people, and all just synchronized working together, and it's going to be a, a pretty fun experience to be on that as well. Oh, we're going to have to look for that. Yeah, That'd definitely cool. let you know when it comes out, because it's going to be pretty funny, and my character is definitely quite, uh, quite the quirky one. <laughs> I so, this posted, but... Yeah. Okay. So, what's the moment in your life that you would say you are most proud of? Uh, proudest moment. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a tough one for me. Um, there's, there's definitely been a lot of proud moments in my life, but I, I would say probably some of the, the ones that really stood out is actually the, the emails that I've gotten from kids and from teens and from even adults who have said, like, you know, your work and to save a life and the story and you being a part of that project has inspired me, has changed my life even, and um, you know, people who write to me and say, you know, I was struggle, I've struggled with cutting, I've struggled with suicide, I've struggled with all these different things, and thank you for, you know, being a part of this amazing project that's literally changed my life. That's, those are some of the most humbling and proud moments of my life because I felt like it feels like, you know, you're really, it feels like you're really doing something, you're really a part of um, impacting many people's lives and and that to me is just really cool to f really feel used by God in that in that way. Okay, so tell us really quick how you came to accept Christ into your life. Um, well you know I grew up in a Christian home um, I kind of accepted Christ when I was about nine um, but it really wasn't until like I got into high school and really started searching on my own and um, I started going to Rock Harbor Church in Costa Mesa and um, really got involved with my youth group and just really started seeking and, and understanding what who is God all about and um, I, I really feel like it was it was it was definitely instilled in me as a kid but it, I, it was it more became um, I really didn't own it and I, uh, until I was probably in high school until I really started searching and and really um, diving into um, who God is and and is this really real is this really um, something that I, I believe in, not just because of my parents. So it was, probably wasn't until then that I really became closer with God and understanding Him and have that relationship with Him. What is your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> oh, man, I got too many of them. Uh, <laughs> certain people around me could definitely uh, probably uh, wrap me out and blackmail me with all the, the funny things and goofy things that go on, but... I'd probably say one of the most embarrassing moments in my life was probably when I was in second grade and I got pushed into a toilet by a bully who was smaller than me. <laughs> yeah, so my mom had to bring me clothes and um, it was a horrible mess, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what are some of your future goals? Um, I guess my long, long-term goal would um, probably have to be to win an Oscar. So 
I know it's a lot of work and it's gonna take time and it seems like something that's so far out there and so big but um, that's definitely one of my huge goals to win an Oscar um, and uh, I'd say some of my other ones is to start like a, a foundation or organization to help others in other countries to help kids who are here just a um, almost like an awareness program that would bring um, awareness to all the different causes around the world and needs and whatnot it would be one of my huge dreams. So who inspires you? Who inspires me? Um, there's a lot of people in my life who have definitely inspired me. Um, I would have to say my mom. She's been huge and instrumental in my life um, and she's always been there for me. Um, I'd have to say my manager, Steve Lowe. Um, he's also my coach and he definitely inspires me every week to uh, kind of get off my butt and really dig deep and do what I need to do for my career. Um, a few other different people, uh, I guess I'd say my grandparents. Um, they definitely uh, <laughs> they inspire me to do, to really encourage me to, to choose roles that are, are definitely honoring and pleasing and glorified in God, which is obviously number one. Um, and uh, I'd have to say my girlfriend right now uh, has definitely inspired me and uh, always, always there to support me. So, yeah. Finally, what advice would you give to the girls at UnleashBeauty.com? Hmm. Um, I'd, I'd have to say that um, one of the most important things to know about yourself is what you're rooted in. And what is um, the foundation of who you are. And if you put the foundation of you, who you are on Christ, He is your rock, He is your foundation, and you can't be moved. Um, you know, as an actor, as anybody who, who lives in, in any aspect of this world, um, there's going to be things that are going to want to pull you away, you know, draw you into um, who knows, you know. As an actor, I'm, I can be drawn into easily drugs, alcohol, we've seen it a million times. But um, I think the most important thing is to know who you are in Christ. And that's what's going to keep you centered no matter where you're at, no matter who you are.